Tewa. It's a great day to be indigenous. Do we have any indigenous folks out there? Woohoo! Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's uh, dignitary event. Thank you all for coming and celebrating, honoring indigenous people today. Uh, my name is Christina M. Castro. I am co founder of Three Sisters Collective and also co organizer of today's uh, events. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you to all the uh, tribal officials, governors, uh, governor staff, uh, current governors, former governors, state uh, and city officials. Um, thank you all for being here to share in this day with us. Um, so uh, we're gonna have the first couple of speakers starting with uh, Tasuki Pueblo Governor Milton Herrera followed by uh, welcomes and introductions by our mayor of Santa Fe, Alan Weber. Good morning again. As introduced, my name is Governor Milton Herrera from the Pueblo of Tezuki. Good morning and welcome to the homelands of Tezuki Pueblo, known as Ogapoge. Greetings to my fellow tribal governors. Today I have with me former Governor Mark Mitchell, former Governor Charlie Dormy, Lieutenant Governor Travis V. Hill, Councilman Gerald Mitchell, Michael Chavaria, Chavaria from the governor from Santa Clara Pueblo, governor from San Alfonso Pueblo, Perry Martinez, and county commissioners. And Mayor Weber, of course. <laughs> Today is Santa Fe. Today Santa Fe, Santa Fe is recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day for the third year in a row. In addition to the dozens of cities throughout the U.S. and four other states, New Mexico, just this past legislative session, also replaced the second Monday in October from Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. That resolve, I believe, was due not only in part that Native Americans, the first Americans, make up at least 10% of the state's population, but also there are 23 sovereign tribal nations that exist and the state of New Mexico. Our tribes are living and thriving in this state, sometimes living in two different worlds where we are working to maintain our language, our traditions, and at the same time, building businesses to provide jobs for our people and other state citizens so that we may generate revenue for our tribal government as well as contribute to the state's economy. Our resilience, oftentimes rooted in resistance, has developed into collaboration and a culture intertwined with our neighbors. Our traditional prayers and dances not only request blessings for the health, safety, and prosperity of our tribal people, our tribal communities, and our future generations, but they also encompass blessings for the health, safety, and prosperity of every person so that we can accomplish goals that are beneficial to all of us.
the recognition and appreciation of indigenous peoples promotes understanding, unity, and the idea that regardless of our very complex history, we are neighbors and partners working to reconcile and embrace our differences. Build figurative bridges and not actual walls. We acknowledge that every culture brings value to our communities, all in anticipation that we realize a future that our next generation will be proud of. It's a good day to be indigenous. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please, another round of applause for Governor Herrera. It is such an honor to have a neighbor, a friend, an ally in all of the Pueblos, and Governor Herrera is a special friend who, with whom I've had the great pleasure of working. I'm Alan Weber. I'm the mayor of Santa Fe, and it's my honor to welcome you here and to introduce a few more people uh, who are on the stage with us today. Uh, from Governor Udall's office, uh, Joshua Sanchez. Uh, joining us soon, I think, will be uh, Lucy Tapahanso uh, to read us a poem, a Dine poem. Uh, Archbishop Wester is here to uh, have a, uh, lead us in a closing prayer. Uh, from the City Council, uh, my friends and colleagues, uh, Councilwoman Renee Villarreal, Councilwoman Carol Romero-Worth, from the County Commission, uh, Commissioners Anna Hansen and Ed Moreno. We have State Representative uh, Georgine Lewis with us. And uh, on her way, uh, Secretary Trujillo from the uh, New Mexico Indian Affairs Department and Deputy Padilla is here with us as well. If I've left anybody out, I apologize. Uh, it's not personal, it's just bad bad leadership by the mayor, so <laughs> welcome to you all. I wanted to just say a few words, first, uh, particularly on uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, to acknowledge that this is Tewa land that we are on. If you look up to the cathedral, if you look down to the uh, convention center, those are sites that in the history of northern New Mexico, uh, Pueblo people settled and set up their uh, their community on sacred land. Uh, they named our community before we were here. Uh, they gave us the blessings of this land and the lessons of history and of how to live here. And without their help, without their welcome, without their hospitality, none of us uh, who are here today would be able to live in peace together. Uh, the name Indigenous Peoples Day is really more than just a name change. It really is a change of awareness and a change of consciousness as we reflect on the meaning of history and who we are as a people. It requires of us, as we celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day, to provide an honest accounting of our past, as Governor Herrera said. We need to be honest about the pain and we need to be honest about the joy that has taken place uh, in this location over thousands of years. We need to accept responsibility for the past even as we create reconciliation among our people and build together an even better future. And that is the work of every day in Santa Fe in northern New Mexico, but a special day for Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. I know uh, we'll have some very eloquent words from our other speakers uh, to conclude my brief remarks, uh, I want to read a poem uh, that is the beginning, the blessing that begins the book White Shell Water Place, an anthology of Native American reflections on the, written and compiled for the 400th anniversary of the founding of Santa Fe, a poem written by N. Scott Mamaday that I think is really appropriate for today. It's called Blessing. 
On this place may blessings abound. Among these valleys and mountains, along ancient trails of trade and pilgrimage, where the waters of the sky fall in fringes of rain and grain rises from the fields, where animals graze in the meadows and run wild in the forests, where ravens and hawks have dominion over the blue and purple summits. On this place, may blessings abound. Bless our ancestors, may we honor them. Bless our children, may we be ever thankful for them. Bless the unborn, may they inherit the good in us. Bless us who make this prayer, may we be worthy. On this place may blessings abound. Here in this house of art and learning, may our bodies be strong. Here in this house of art and learning, may our minds be open and clear. Here in this house of art and learning, may our spirits be one with creation. On this place may blessings abound. All our lives may we know truth. All our lives may we know the beautiful. All our lives may we know inspiration. All our lives may we know the sacred within us. On this place may blessings abound. Let us live happily inside these words. Let us live peacefully inside these words. Let us live thankfully inside these words. Let us be wholly alive inside these words. In holiness do we make our prayer. In holiness do we make our prayer. And Scott Mamaday. Thank you. Now, Governor Cheveria. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael uh, Chavria, and I serve as governor for Santa Clara Pueblo. Uh, today, I'm representing the uh, All Pueblo Council of Governor. I serve as a vice chairman of that consortium. Which are the 19 pueblos here in New Mexico to include the Pueblo of Isidro del Sur uh, down in Texas. So it is my pleasure to welcome you to New Mexico's uh, first Indigenous Peoples Day. The celebration of this day has been long coming, and I am very excited that New Mexico has decided to make the move to acknowledge the day as a day of celebration and commem commemorate our shared history and culture. As Native people, it is important that our contributions to the history of the state which really is all our history is acknowledged. The shared history is the foundation of our shared sense of community, friendship, and success as we move forward. As Governor Herrera mentioned, Native Americans make up 10% of our population of the state. And one of the largest contributions to the state's economy through hospitality, retail, art, culture, tourism, Indeed, culture tourism is one of the biggest reasons many, cult many tourists choose to visit the state of New Mexico all from all over the world. Without tribal and native people contributions to art, music, and culture, the state as a whole would be sub substantially different and, in my opinion, lesser for that. Indeed, only last week, Washington, D.C. joined New Mexico in acknowledging today as Indigenous Peoples Day. New Mexico may not have had may not have been the first state to make this uh, change, but is helping to lead the way most recently. Uh, Vermont and Maine have also joined in. And so it's very important, yes, it's very important to acknowledge us as Native uh, Indigenous peoples. We've been in this location since time of memorial. It goes back to our traditions, our cultures, and prayers, but most importantly is our Native language. Our native language is that glue that holds our traditions and culture and religions together. Yes, we face many challenges, but we also remain resilient in the eyes of those challenges. So as tribal leaders, it's very important to stress to our community the importance of loving, caring, and respecting. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes in our lives. And today we ask each and every one of you to love and care and respect one another for we don't know when our time is going to come. As they tell us, we're here on borrowed time. 
Only the Creator knows when our time is going to come and when He's going to call us to that next world. So now that we're alive, we must love and care and respect each other. Respect ourselves, respect our community. Because it's very important that legacy that we leave behind for our children as they're going to be the future leaders of tomorrow. So we can't be fighting, bickering with one another. There's no room for that. And so that we go back to the power of prayer, asking the Creator every day, day in and day out, to look down upon all of us, to give us that strength and that courage to continue to be successful in all of our lives. It doesn't matter if it's native or non-native, but today is a day of celebration. And as we've seen this morning with the kids from the Tetsuki School, that's who we are, is having to teach our children to carry on our traditions, our culture, through the songs, through the prayer, because one of these days it's gonna be their turn to be in this position as a tribal leader, as a cultural leader. And so it's very important that we share our experiences, our knowledge with them, so that when their opportunity is here, we, we that foundation that we created, they can be successful and move forward. And so it's very important as the 19 Pueblos here in New Mexico, to include the Pueblo of Salado Sur, work with our congressional dele delegations in Washington, D.C., also with the state legislature, because there's so many challenges that are still uh, out and about there that we've got to work together to combat uh, these situations. You know, we're not immune. We have drug problems, alcoholism in our communities, domestic violence, suicide. Like I say, we're not immune to many of these things, but it's all of us working together that's going to help us and what helps gets that accomplished is the power of prayer. Having that belief day in and day out was gonna help us remain resilient and accomplish the goal that we want in our life is to be successful. And the things that we do today is not for us, but it's for our children and the, the generations that are yet to come. So with that, I'd just like to thank all of you uh, for coming today. I hope that we can all enjoy a day as a day of our cultures coming together and celebrating a shared uh, diversity. So with that, Kundaloha, thank you very much. Good morning. Guatsi Halpa, Katawa Halpa, Tritra. Good morning, everybody. My name is Joshua Sanchez, and I'm a field representative for United States Senator Tom Udall. Unfortunately, the senator isn't able to make it this morning, but I have a short statement to read on his behalf. Greetings, everybody. It's an honor to celebrate Indigenous Peoples today on its first day as a New Mexico state holiday. Our state legislature and Governor Lujan Grisham are to be wholeheartedly congratulated for stepping forward and recognizing both the cruel history of the European takeover of native lands and subjugation of native peoples and the red cultures of our indigenous peoples and they make their remarkable survival and resilience. New Mexico is defined and united by our diverse, diversity of our cultures. We are home to 23 federally recognized tribes and have the second highest percentage of Native Americans here, over 10%. Native culture is woven into our art, our food, our architecture. New Mexico is richer and more vibrant for this. The historic and present day struggles of native peoples in our nation cannot be minimized, overlooked, or ignored. We must stare our history straight in the face and bow to remedy past wrongs and strengthen native culture, economic development, and independence. We must vow to respect the sovereignty of native tribes and pueblos honor their self-determination, and ensure full opportunity to participate in all decisions that affect them. I have been deeply honored for three years to serve as the lead Democrat on the Senate Indian Affairs Committee. We have a tradition of working on a bipartisan basis in that committee to get things done. I'm proud that tradition has continued as we work forward to making sure that all Native peoples and communities have access to affordable, quality health care and education and good jobs and housing. I am fighting hard to preserve native culture and history here in New Mexico and throughout the nation. We are moving forward with protecting the greater Chaco landscape from development. There are literally thousands of native artifacts and sites in that region. In a bill coming out of the Appropriations Committee where I sit, we secured language directing the Bureau of Land Management to refrain from energy leasing within a 10 mile radius of the Chaco National Historical Park. 
and providing $1 million to survey the cultural resources in the broader Chacoan region. I am continuing to work to restore Bears Ears and Grand Staircase Escalante National Monuments to original boundaries after being slashed by the current administration. These sacred areas must be preserved for the future. Thank you to everyone who is here. Today, together, we recognize our history our honor, our, and honor our indigenous peoples and recommit to strengthen native peoples and communities here throughout the nation. Thank you again, United States Senator Tom Udall. And I have the, okay, and I have the opportunity to introduce the governor from San Alfonso Pueblo, Perry Martinez. Thank you. Um, now I'd like to introduce a um, personal friend of mine, uh, a writing mentor, a lovely Dene woman who um, is currently, I believe, the Dene Poet Laureate. Um, she was my professor at uh, the University of Arizona when I was uh, a creative in the creative writing MFA program so we go way back and she would like to offer um, some poetry for today and for you all so let us welcome Lucy Tapahonso yet and Bene good morning it's um, a beautiful day for us to gather here. I'm uh, So I've told you my plans, and I'm originally from Shiprock, um, and have I'm going to be living between here and Shiprock the last few years. I'm going to just read a few pieces. The beginning was missed. The first holy ones taught and sang as always. They created light, night, and day. They sang into place the mountains, the rivers, plants, and animals. They sang us into life. This morning we gather in gratitude for all aspects of sacredness. The air, the warmth of fire, bodies of water, plants, the land, and all animals and humankind. We gather to honor our relatives. We gather to honor our parents, grandparents, children, family members and friends. We honor their resilience and devotion. May we remember that holiness exists in the ordinary elements of our lives. We are grateful for a homeland that has always thrived on a glorious array of people and their diverse cultures, histories, and beliefs. We acknowledge the generosity of the Tiwa people in granting this land on which we learn, celebrate, uh, celebrate accomplishments, and sometimes mourn losses. May we always cherish our ancestors as we prepare for the days ahead. May we remember that we exist because of their prayers and their faith. We are blessed with distinct and melodious tongues. Our languages are treasures of songs, stories, ceremonies, and memories. May each of us remember to share our stories with one another because it is only through stories that we live full lives. May the words we speak go forth as bright beads of comfort, joy, humor, and inspiration. We have faith that all here will inspire others to explore and follow their interests, 
today we reflect a rainbow of creation. Some came from the east, where bright crystals of creativity reside. They are the white streaks of early morning light when all is born again. We understand that the Sangri de Cristos are, the, are our inspiration for beginning each day. They are everlasting and always present. Those who came from the south embody the strength of the blue mountains that encircle us. The, San, the, the Ma, Mount Taylor instills in us the vigorous spirit of useful learning. Others came from the west. They are imbued with the quiet yellow glow of dusk. They help us achieve our goals. Here in the middle of the valley, the, the, uh, the basket of life teaches us to value our families. Those from the north bring the deep restorative powers of night's darkness. The, their presence renews us. The mountains teach us that though the past may be fraught with sorrow, it was strengthened by the prayers of our forebearers. We understand that we are surrounded by mountains, Zif. Thus we are made of strength, Zee. We are strong ourselves. We are surrounded by mountains that help us negotiate our daily lives. May we always recognize the multitude of gifts that surround us. May our homes, churches, and communities be filled with the wisdom and optimism that reflect a generous spirit. We are grateful for all blessings, seen and unseen. May we fulfill the lives envisioned for us at our birth. May we realize that our actions affect all people and the earth. May we live in the way of beauty and help others in need. May we always remember that we are created as people. We were created as people who believe in one another. We are grateful, Nikidigin, holy ones for everyone here as they will strengthen our future. All is beautiful again. And then I'll end with this very brief one. And I want to thank everyone um, for being here and for the invitation to share, um, for inviting me to share in this uh, really uh, momentous event and something that we have um, waited for, for for a long time. We must remember the worlds our ancestors traveled. Always wear the songs they gave us. Remember, we are made of prayers. Now we leave wrapped in old blankets of love and wisdom. I see. Thank you very much. Lucy, thank you for your words. So can you practice saying thank you in Dene with me? Awesome. <laughs> um, before we continue, um, I would just like to acknowledge um, State Secretary of Affairs Lynn Trujillo has joined us. Also, uh, Dr. Robert Martin, President of IAIA, the Institute of American Indian Arts, the only tribal college in the United States that's uh, dedicated to the preservation of. Indian arts and culture. Right here in our backyard. It's great. Okay, so moving on, get my agenda. We would like to uh, invite up um, Archbishop John Wester for a closing to our dignitary event agenda. And then we are going to have a short recess 
and the afternoon performances, which are going to be amazing, um, will start at 1230. I encourage you all to look around at all the booths and see all the Native organizations that serve uh, the community. And yes. Yes, and you uh, also want to acknowledge Lieutenant Governor Garcia from Kiwa, Santo Domingo, Pueblo. Thank you. Thank you all again. And um, Archbishop, are you? Let us pray. God, creator of us all, we give you thanks and praise gathering here today on this Indigenous Peoples Day. We acknowledge you as all-powerful, all-loving, all-knowing. And yet we also acknowledge your presence with us now at the core of our being. We thank you particularly, loving God, for gathering us this day as we honor the rich cultural heritage that is ours. As we come together as many peoples, many ideas, many lands, but in a special way honoring those who inhabited this land first. We thank you for reminding us this day that we're called not to compete, but to complement, not to put down, but to